Hey, gang. In the ride. April 4th through the 7th, we're at the Riot Comedy Festival in Houston, Texas. Yeehaw! Texas. <laughs> Dude, cut that. <laughs> April 10th, the Addison Improv in Addison, Texas. April 11th, the Creek in the Cave in Austin, Texas. And then we're going to Tampa and then Raleigh. <laughs> A lot of audio engineers oh, commenting please. on us holding sure mics is fucking insane. It is apparently. fucking insane. Get a dude. second back support. Oh, it is fucking insane. The length of the ass of this couch is nuts. <laughs> I know, I know. This is six five and over. It's also low, so you like sick it. I'm thinking I'm gonna put this thing on stilts. This is I for, can't see out the window. Of course. <laughs> Standing up. <laughs> <laughs> this is for NBA players to get blown by three <laughs> white poor women. True. <laughs> like this, this is gonna be good. This couch does get me horned up. It's, it <laughs> it is, is. A, it's a fuck couch. It's an amazing fuck couch. Did you guys yeah. knock boots on every little cushion? Uh, we've done it a couple times. All right, Jesus. Yeah, don't tell me. <laughs> we put towels down over it. How about this boy? Yeah, he's doing good. Yeah, did he watch? He's, does he like your bond? <laughs> no, he hates Come on, it. You love this, dude. He hates it. I'm a cat person. He needs some bat. He needs a little butt support. He's got his. <laughs> <laughs> dude, a uh, fine dude. He's been he's been acting Twice. like such a little cunt. Every yeah, because morning. he's upgraded. Every, he's such a, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, he's such a rich, he's high bitch. living now. He doesn't do shit. He doesn't have a job. Every, he can't fucking drive. <laughs> he's like me. No job, no car. Yeah, why don't you do something? Yeah, that's why I act so confident every day. I get up, and go. Eh, no, he. Here? It is. It is. The one nice thing about an animal is that, like, when you walk into a place and you're feeling like a little bit like, oh my god, I'm, where am I? What yeah. am I doing? The, Are you doing the, it? The animal finds like a like he'll find just a window and he'll just be like looking out of it and like him going like this is nice. Yeah. Is like, <laughs> all right. You all think right, that? Right. But he's going. I could jump from here. <laughs> <laughs> I can nice. end this whole fucking nice. thing right now. Things dude. go sideways. I yeah. got a place I can yeah. kill myself. Mom gets drunk, leaves that sliding door open. I'm doing a fucking swan dive <laughs> <laughs> off the 26th floor, dude. dude. That cat would be a flying squirrel. That would land in fucking Charleston. Dude. <laughs> dude, he would. The gust, dude, the wind gusts up yeah, here. Yeah, I know. Dude, we came back the other night and it was like thunderstorming. That yeah. thunderstorm we had the other it's night. It's pretty beautiful, yeah. It was amazing. It's been raining for four days. Dude, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that I, that has been pissing me off. It's yeah, like, a little bit for me. Going? I got to cut my fucking lawn. I just got my electric lawnmower. <laughs> I swear to God, I did. Connected? You got a power cord connected Dude, to the... update. <laughs> <laughs> John's the man. Yes. Old John, serial killer across the street, is the fucking man. Get me this my Shiner has... box. The only thing I drink. A Shiner box. Dude. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you a story. So he comes over. This guy's he's a peeping Tom. Let me yeah, tell you that. Yeah. He's old enough to go, I got nothing to do. Charlene's pissing me off. Yeah. I'm going to go peek around the bushes, look for <laughs> sticks to carry. Yeah. He's got nothing to fucking do. Dude, that's suburbs life, man. Yeah. So he sees a city slick and wop running around the fucking house, getting all fucking worked up. Mm -hmm. He's got to say something. And he, the way, the pace with which this man walks across the street. Our streets are giant. I sing your pace. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's like... This is a 40-yard football toss. Your house is fucking toss. sick, toss. dude. Holy our, shit. Our plants just got delivered. It, yeah. Just a little touch every day, Chris. <laughs> a little fucking I touch do. every day. It is. It feels it is. good. Anyway, John comes to the door, rings the door while I open it up. I'm on a call. It was our call with the with our producers. Yeah, yeah. The doorbell rang. He popped in? Let me that tell was you popping? Popping in. <laughs> John's popping in, dude. And I'm not used to a popping. So I'm like, Amazon drops off. They don't ring doorbells here. Because yeah. no one's going to steal your shit, apparently. Yeah. That's why they ring doorbells in New York in shitty cities. Because some fucking crackhead's going to grab your box right, and skedaddle. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So I hear a doorbell. I'm like, I think it's heard a doorbell. I go over there and John's like, eh. You were asking about the recycling. I found this pamphlet. And I was like, Jesus Christ. John, and I can hear you guys yapping. And I'm like, uh, yeah, thanks, man. And I'm trying to wrap this up from the jump, dude. I'm <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. thank you so much. I go to ground me. He's like, well, let's see what it says here. Yes, about he wants to take you page by page, page? dude. Dude, he went, <laughs> he opened this thing up. It was like a magician pulling a handkerchief out for fucking eight oh minutes. Oh, my God. He kept going page by page, and I kept going, thank you so much, man. I'll look over. You don't have to read it. He goes, yeah. let's see what else we have here. I'm like, nothing. 
<laughs> what yeah. we have here is nothing. He's like, no, you're going. You, this is interesting. On page six, yeah, yeah you yeah. can either put it in a, a brown bag or you can put your clippings raw. In, in his, <laughs> he's give, he's going color by color of all these trash. I have cat hair all over my face. I I'll mention everywhere. He's going color by color. I go, John. I can read the top of all the cans. It says trash, plastic. Uh, whatever food clippings or some yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 I'm like, yeah, I, I'll you, figure it out. Dude. Compost. He can't, he, dude. He's, his mind is blown that we don't have a car. He sees us go yeah. into an Uber every day. Yeah. He's on the fucking front lawn going, hey, and he go, tries to talk. And I'm like, John, these guys. I finally had to give it to him. I was like, these guys are working. Yeah. Like this is a paid car. I yeah. can't have a conversation about Azaleas <laughs> right fucking now. Let me get in the car. I'm pissing off this fucking Arab. Muhammad Dude, yeah. is upset at you, John. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be either. Dude, yeah, you you really are. Without a car out there, it's... Dude. They can't believe it. Yeah. It, well, just it, imagine, it, like, yeah. Just it, was a, it was an emotional chest, too, because he stood at the door for so long. We, had, we got done the recycling conversation, and I was like, he keeps, like, peeking by me. And my girl's on the phone with her friend, and she's laughing so hard about something, it sounds like she's crying. Yeah. So now it looks like I'm just an abusive husband. Right, right. Trying to <laughs> lot, not to let him in until my bitch stops I'm crying. on a call, John. Yeah, I'm on a call. You know, I'm on one of those calls. She's the back of yeah. <laughs> He's like, do you have kids? <laughs> no, the bitch won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, he finally, I was like, do you want to come in? And he goes, yeah, I'll come in. And then I didn't have, for a while, he just meandered. He's like, I've been in this house many times. They have redone. And he went through every room going, yeah, this is new. This is new. And then my girl kept going like, is it better? Is it better? Are we being taken care of? And he'd be like, yeah. well, yeah and no. And I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up. Just, just say, say yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. What You're just giving me another hour and a half going, do you think we got robbed? It's like, no, <laughs> we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. It's going through every goddamn room. And I was like, John, do you like beer? And he's yeah. like, Shiner Bach. He said Shiner. Yeah, he's yeah. like, all I drink is Shiners. I was like, oh, Shiner Bach. He goes, it's local. Give me anything else, I'll throw it out. <laughs> and that? every fucking dude, his jokes are pop-up jokes. Every joke is a pop-up joke, and it, it's wearing on me. Yeah. Like, it's, it's cute and funny in the beginning because you're doing that nervous laugh with a neighbor. Yes, but you're, then when it starts to get in the way of conversation. Or like, me doing anything else. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, where do you put the trash? He's like, well, you first have to pick up a politician and throw it right in the trash. And I'm like, <laughs> uh, you don't have to help me out with that, John. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to go right down Congress. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you hold a politician. If you want to cut your lawn, you hold your politician by his back feet and he'll, he'll, he'll mow right through it. It's like, dude, shut the fuck up. Anyway, he rules. He offered to drive us to Home Depot. He's like, I heard, I heard uh, your girlfriend saying that you guys have to go to Home Depot today. I can drive you. And I was like, actually, my friend Gardini is coming over. He will drive us. And he's like, all right, well. I got a truck. Anytime, anytime. No. I got the truck. No, that's the problem, dude. What he's is got he driving like a fucking, He's got an old. He's got Gardini's car. It's like <laughs> it's like a 1985 Civic. And I was like, I'm good, dude. You can see the dog hair stuck to the inside of the windows, just glued on by old like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. dog saliva. saliva. Yeah, yeah. saliva. <laughs> I know what that car smells like. I'm not getting in it. Holy shit, dude, John! Thirty Cheers minutes later, John. another doorbell. After we hung up, he comes by with an index card. I'll show you the pic. It's hilarious. You can see his age by his penmanship because it's like shaking as he's writing this shit. Yeah. It just says work, sell, uh, and this, this website. He's like, you ever heard of a, it's like neighborhood.com or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, no, I haven't. And I, again, I'm fucking, I'm over it. He's like, well, it's a website that like people in the neighborhood will just let you know what to avoid and maybe what not to avoid. Do you know? And I was like, yeah, like. Latinos? Yeah, neighborhood app. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, no, like, um, like, <laughs> I'm like, right I fake him. laughed at all your jokes. <laughs> Fucking give me something, John. This guy it's is too his, new. It's too fresh. It's too fresh. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I think we're going to build a relationship. Hopefully through football season. I'll have him over. Yeah, yeah. He's the guy who's going to build you a garden or something. <sighs> Dude, this man is, he's built for a bowling alley. I don't think he bends over beyond. Really, hasn't oh, seen his pecker in years. Dude. Big, th like the like bifocals. No glasses, just a pot belly giant. He's huge. He's going hat or no hat. 
He goes, he goes, uh, he's, he's built like a tiki bar. Like he has a, he has a Hawaiian shirt on all the time. Oh dude, you moved in and he was like, finally. Yes. One of my people. <laughs> finally a dude darker than a peach <laughs> that wants to do beach life with me. <laughs> wants to wax yeah, my dude, surfboard. Now, I'm not talking about a blow job. Dude. <laughs> he's going to build the above ground pool. Oh, cute. Dude, he, he does rule. It's just yeah. such a weird change of pace. Mm -hmm. To go from not looking at anybody in New York, and now I'm like, I have to build a relationship with this guy. Let yeah. your guard down. Yeah. Now it's every day. Hey, John. Jennifer's to my left. I know Jen. Jen, single mom. No, she's just a single lady. Just an old lady. Yeah, and she's kind of like Filipino Irish. Really weird disposition. Half Filipino, half Irish. That's my guesstimate. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's real, uh, go real good. <laughs> I keep saying things like, I don't know how to end that conversation either. What's, it's, all, it's all elevator talks. Yeah. This is what like, I'm afraid of getting a dog is because you see another guy with a dog and you have to go, ah, how old is she? And then yeah. you have to have this weird conversation. That's what yeah. I'm doing. But instead I'm going, what do I do with all this shit? How do I get rid of all this old cardboard? <laughs> I fucking popped the garage door open and Sean was like, whew. And I was like, I told you. Dude, That's I, I literally just imagine you like in my head just in like, 1830s Texas, just like homesteading. It's you're out there. You didn't bring a horse. It's <laughs> <laughs> dude, not having you a car be, in Texas, especially gotta, Austin, is so crazy. He, dude, he was befuddled. Dude. Yeah, yeah. He's and like, the homesteaders next to you are like, "Who? Yeah, is this guy?" I had to like write How down on the index that? card in his handwriting because I was drunk. Like, <laughs> what an Uber is. So I'm like, I'm safe. <laughs> Muhammad will get me to the bar I need to go to. <laughs> I'm not jumping in your fucking car. Dude, me and my girl, we're, we're walking out to get an Uber the other night. And there's another John-looking character, because there's a lot of John-looking characters. Yeah. He wasn't wearing his outfit. He wasn't wearing his fucking Saturday fucking fun day. <laughs> and she's so confident, because she's had conversations with him too, but this guy is walking a dog. And the Uber's like to the left. We're looking directly across the street where John would be. Yeah. And there's a dog. And she just goes, huh, who's this? And the guy looked up and he was like, what, what? the fuck? What the yeah. fuck? And she's, you know, tattoos, fucking shaved head. <laughs> and I'm behind her going, babe, <laughs> it's not fucking John. <laughs> she, she, she's like, Dude. what? I'm like, that's not John. Stop <laughs> yelling at the guy and his dog. The volume on that street is up 60 decibels. Uh, I try, I try. We just got curtains in the front. Because he, he says shit that it's so passive aggressive that I think he's John pissed. John does? John. He's pissed. He'll say stuff like, uh, so you got a lawnmower? You don't fuck a woman like that. Not <laughs> <laughs> I, dude, Not if it was about that, <laughs> that guy would have three teeth in his Hawaiian shirt. You do it missionary. <laughs> <laughs> that hat would have went... <laughs> Spun like a fucking Bugs Bunny You're using all the holes over there, aren't you? <laughs> I know you get along with those sand creatures <laughs> No, he Jesus. said shit like I saw you got a lawnmower Because my garage door was open And my lawn is It's long Yeah Because the uh, project management company That's doing all these flips For these pieces of shit Haven't been cutting my lawn So I had to wait like a week and a half Oh, dryer's not working. What? Oh, the dryer's not working? Dryer's not working because they did the remodel. They did a quick flip. Cheap construction. They didn't saw a hole for the exhaust. No in the new fucking way. You got to put a work order in through this product, uh, project management company. They have to get it approved by some fucking yet from somewhere else around the Connecticut, country. Connecticut, honestly. Yeah, Connecticut. Yeah. And this then, building owned yeah. by people in Connecticut. 100%. I know how it works. It's fucking ridiculous. So, yeah, we didn't wash her. The, the dishwasher was broke for a while. They just, dude, they shoddily put this thing together. It's beautiful, huh? It is beautiful. It's it is really nice. Gorgeous. I know, but the simple things. When you, when you feel like you're getting fucked, oh, dude. it's not about money, but if you, I feel like you're fucking me, dude. then I get really angry. And small, little, subtle things. Yeah. The trim underneath my fucking... Yeah. My counter. Cabinet not closing quite right. Yep. Will drive me... S small shit, man. Insane. Small shit. Yeah. I got fucking... I got poofing like this in my dog shit wood flooring. There's already air pockets. That shit's going to come up. My girl's going to stub a toe. I'm going to fight for three hours. Yeah, it's a health hazard. Yeah. Yeah. And I got to send an email to a nobody 
Not a nobody for who they are, but yeah. I don't know who it is. No, it's meant to be a black hole. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Anyway. It is, it is fr- yeah. It's been great. It, it has been great. <laughs> it's it has been, been great. Fucking great. Sorry, there's there's your update on yeah. the last. I really appreciate all the comments of you guys actually caring about this shit because <laughs> it is such a wild emotional move from going from my parents' home to 15 minutes away and going to college in Philly, going to you know, living in North Philly, West Philly, and then going to New York City for 12 years. Yeah. The peace in the suburbs yeah. is the greatest thing that I didn't know existed. And oh, man. I, when you live in shit and that energy, you don't know. You just adapt to it so consistently that you think it's normal. Yeah. And you get out of it. I got it a little bit during the pandemic when I went home and chilled at my parents for a little bit. I was like, holy shit. Yeah. This is so nice. Yeah. Yeah. Every Being- morning in Philly and New York, you wake up and go, oh! yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, here it goes again. Yes. Now, like, dude, I yes. fall back asleep. Yeah, just waking up to bus breaks and shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you did it. No, you did it. Fuck you. Yeah, shut the fuck yeah, up. Someone just sitting in their car blasting music. You're breaking for, up yeah. with your fifth husband at 8 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yeah, have lunch. Yeah, so I am the loudest person on the block for sure. We got to get a fucking intramural squad going. We can we have a touch football game in our fucking street, dude. No oh, cars, dude. Like Wayne's World car, none of that yeah. shit, dude. There's dude, no cars. I bet there is a flag football league here. I already looked into it. Yeah, yeah. Is it is it what's the season? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you gotta have multiple seasons. I'm sure it's starting now so that you don't die on the field in <laughs> two months, dude. I want it. How's your move going? You guys got this place all <clears throat> together real quick. Dude, we're not great. we're fucked. I mean, well, we got stuff on the walls, but we like I need to get furniture. I need to get like a dresser or not a dresser. I need to get like a whatever a cons media, a media console, console or like a fucking what are they what do they call it? Is Some, this new? What this TV? No, is that from the, the old Shane's apartment? Old that Shane's TV. old TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks so much bigger without the stand. Yeah, it's huge. That's crazy. It's gigantic. Yeah. I also put it up a little too high. I put my TV up an inch to the right of the f- the fake fireplace. Yeah. Got to move the whole goddamn system. It took yeah. me a long time, dude. To get it up? Yeah. Yeah. You remember? You helped me. Yeah. When I fucked it up the first time. Well, but you're talking about your new place. Yeah, the new place. I oh, have to take oh. it back off the wooden yeah. shingles in the dojo, move it to the left. It's driving me nuts. Oh, my God. I'm trying to watch Anybody Feeds Phil or whatever the Everybody fuck. Everybody Feeds Phil. Yeah, where that uh, goofy Jew somebody runs around. Phil. Somebody yeah, Feeds yeah. Phil. How he, do you watch he, that? Dude, that, he rules. He does? He's the funnest fucking guy. It's background television when you eat. That's my eating room. I have like yeah. a little eating room, and then I have a nighttime television. Oh, here's another John passive-aggressive thing. He goes, so we, we didn't have blinds. And we have that. Remember the lights I got yeah, for the, on the, the TV, trim. Yeah. And he Who's goes, I've been noticing yeah. your lights through the window. I can't sleep. With yeah. That, the what blue is light. that? I don't. Yeah. It's like, what, what, do you, what do you mean? What is it? Just say what you want. Yeah. Shut it off, because I'm bothered by your lights through the fucking window. How could he possibly be bothered? He doesn't have shit to do. He stares out the window or he's on the lawn. He, the guy, fucking meanders. Does he? Is he retired? He doesn't have a job. He's, he's just- for sure. I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a pop out joke. That's another pop out joke. He would just go yeah, right yeah, over yeah, his head. Yeah. I'm like, are you, dude? It's, it, yeah, I want to. I'm interested in your neighbors, guys. This episode is brought to you by Prize Picks. Okay, Prize Picks is the largest daily fantasy sports platform in North America. Football season may be over, but the action on the floor is heating up. Whether it's tournament season or the fight for the playoff home court, there's no shortage of high-stakes basketball moments this time of year. Get in on the excitement with Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app where you can turn your hoops, hoops, your hoops knowledge into serious cash. You can now win up to 100 times your money on Prize Picks with as little as four correct picks. You can turn $10 into $1,000 with NBA, NHL, and college basketball entries today on Prize Picks. America's number one fantasy sports app. Download the app today and use code Stuff Island for a first deposit match up to $100. Okay? Download the app today and use code Stuff Island for a first deposit match of up to $100. So you put $100 in, they're going to match that for you. It's great. 
All right, Mando. Mando reduces, prevents sweat. They're not antiperspirant. It's 100% natural, organic, fragrance, oil-free, dermatologist recommended, other brands' names. I can't recommend that. I'm not going to shame them because I already did that this episode. I need Mando. I want to give a personal endorsement, but it still hasn't been delivered due to our address change. So yeah. I'll let you know next week how, how good Mando is and if it's fixing my left smelly fucking arm. <laughs> it's hilarious. I think it's going to do the <clears throat> trick. It better. Warmer weather looks, it leads into a funkier crotch. Grab some Mando whole body deodorant and nip body odor in the bud. Put it on your pits, package, feet, and beyond for whole body freshness from the makers of Lumi deodorant. Mando is clinically proven to work hard all day instead of covering up EO with heavy fragrances. Mando stops odor from the source at the source, stopping the stink from happening in the first place. Spring into the season with a deodorant that can handle the heat. Special offer for new customers. You get $5 off a starter pack with exclusive code and link. Use code StuffIsland at ShopMando.com. That's Stuff Island code. And the website is S-H-O-P-M-A-N-D-O.com. All right, guys, this, this, this episode is also brought to you by Rocket Money. You guys know the deal. If you're, if you're a Stuff Island listener, you know Rocket Money is the source for getting rid of crappy things that you're still subscribed to. Nearly 75% of people have subscriptions they've forgotten about. Before I started using Rocket Money, I thought I had about 65 subscriptions. Turns yeah. out I have 10 million. I could not believe it when they showed me I was paying for... 10 million subscriptions <laughs> each month between streaming service, fitness apps, delivery services, never ending. Thanks to Rocket Money, I'm no longer wasting the money on the ones that I forgot about. <clears throat> Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. This is a sick thing that Rocket Money will just actually go, yeah, yeah, and like, do, do the fighting for yeah. you. That's all the, the bullshit. That might be the nicest thing of all yeah, it's time. It's like hiring a pack of Jews to get it done. Yeah. The lawyers. Yeah. And they're cheap. And you get a discount. Some guy them. sent me a private message. He's like, hey, can you just stop making fun of the Jews like every episode? <laughs> We're not all Zionists. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I just went, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that used to drive me nuts when I'd get in a fight with like my girl and I would say all this emotional shit and she'd just yeah. always go, okay. And that, I would roof the phone, dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, stop wasting money on things you don't use. <laughs> Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash stuff island. That's rocketmoney.com slash stuff island. Rocketmoney.com slash stuff island. Oh, it's food time. What is that? It's the automatic feeder. Look at Fatty. Yeah, dude. He's Damn. He's been He's been a real pain Cats in the ass. Cats are so fucking spoiled. They're great. He is spoiled, though. He is a cat dog. I've said it before. He is a cat dog. Dog cat? What would you call him? Yeah, he? yeah. Dog he's, cat. He's, 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 everyone says this about their cat that is, no, he's, but yeah. this, this cat, you can rub his belly. Yeah. He There's been care. two. It's been him and Dottie from uh, Judy's. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know where she got her like cat? hanging out at the bar. Yeah. She got her cat at a weed farm, and I've heard this is a thing. And they, what? They train them there Weed farms that have stray cats and like, or they, they breed cats. Yeah. The cats are just naturally mundane. Chill? Very chill. And I don't, <laughs> nobody understands. It's got to be. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. Do the fucking homework. They're just, yeah. They're just sniffing just weed all day. Just sublime in the womb. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So their brain <clears throat> probably doesn't get properly done. And it's just a big old fucking bag of water. I wonder. Yeah, I wonder if like, yeah, I wonder if you could like dose animals into like. Being chill. Yeah. Like, we should just send autistic kids to weed farms. Yeah. Just or like give, camp. A, give a cat like ayahuasca. Will it have like a enlightening experience? <laughs> Lock <Or> the windows. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine meeting a bitch at like a, a cat park. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Charlie was a problem for a while. Yeah. Then we gave him ayahuasca. Yeah. <laughs> and he, he yeah, saw Now he, he does the dishes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now he walks upright and has a driver's <laughs> license. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's got to be a thing. There's got to be people out there that are dosing their animals to change them. 100%. Right? Yeah. To the, on, go, take there them are on adults a dosing quest. their loved ones without them knowing. Yeah. Can a, like a dog can eat mushrooms and stuff, right? I would imagine. Do, I mean, you ever blow smoke into a dog's face in college? No. This kid used to do it all the time. I fucking hated it. This yeah. pothead, he used to sell pot at Drexel. 
yeah. he'd sell pot, and then he would. He had a dog. He's a real dirt ball. I fucking hate yeah, this. Yeah, everyone who sold weed in West Philly was. Scumbag. Yeah, West yeah. Philly scumbag, and he had this big like pit bull type thing, and he thought it was funny, like <sighs> smoke a joint, like, <sighs> and the dog would be like just hating it yeah <laughs> and then just go to the corner and be like just caked the dog would be the fucked dog up? would be fucked up yeah. and he, the, everybody's laughing i'm like jesus christ dude yeah it is weird dogs feel the laughter they hate the laughter you think so yeah dogs when you if you ever laugh at a dog in a dog's face they get like ashamed <laughs> <laughs> like they know they know it's not good you know what i mean they know they like they're they're emotionally in tune <laughs> enough to know that like if a whole room is looking at them and laughing, laughing yeah. that things are not yeah. trending in the right Even direction. Even a koi fish would understand yeah, yeah, yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bunch of giants going. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I, I remember there was a my my uh, my sister in law had a dog growing up, a corgi, and if you called it fat, if you if you were like. Sarah, <laughs> Sarah, you fat piece of shit. You fucking piece of... You're no so fucking fat. It would like... <laughs> <laughs> it, it would get sad and like hide under a chair. Did they hit it with a bamboo stick no, every no, time no. they said fat? No, no. This dog was like a huge pain in the ass. Like it was like a real... This know, is it was a fucking this corgi. Like stories like all this, time. dude. Yeah. R- like make me believe in reincarnation. <laughs> <laughs> like if you came back as a corgi and someone's like, look at this fat piece of shit. And you're just yeah, like, yeah. I don't know why that hurts, but it yeah. hurts. Yeah. Scary over to a dog bed in the fucking living room. <laughs> you know, I'm going to sleep for five hours. Chris yeah. called me fat. Yeah, dude, it was like the dog was like, it was a corgi. It was like a nuisance. It would always be like, meow, 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 like, yeah. like in your face. And yeah, corgis you. are fucking And dickheads. you'd be like, stop, stop. So, and like none of that would work. But going like, you're fucking fat. You're yeah. so fat and out of shape. It's crazy. Do you know corgis have the strongest sperm for all dogs? <laughs> you mean in terms of like everything will just turn into a corgi? Everything turns yeah, into yeah, a corgi, It's all dude. dominant genes. Rottweiler rapes yeah. a corgi. Thing comes out corgi size, looking like a Rottweiler. <laughs> corgi sperm is the most powerful substance <laughs> on earth, dude. It That's is so crazy. Think of it like a Magic the Gathering thing. <laughs> you, just, you drop a corgi guard. <laughs> it's so great. Everyone's tiny. Yeah. yeah, your wife's pregnant. And the baby's coming out and just looks like a corgi. You stare at your dog. You're like, "What the fuck did you do, dude?" <laughs> He's got your face in a corgi's body, dude. I worry. I worry. That's what I worry about. Like corgi genes. Like if I have ever had a kid with like a tall lady to try to get like a tall kid. Yeah, you know what I mean. That yeah. my corgi genes would take over. Yeah, you just do have corgi genes. Midget, midget yeah. would come out. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, you just getting on a step ladder, put it in her pussy. <laughs> you still get a fucking bow legged corgi. <laughs> It'd be so funny. Just jerking <laughs> off into a cup at the bottom of the ladder and then <laughs> just throwing it in. <laughs> just balling up like a snowball, just tossing your cum yeah, yeah. into a giant stick woman. Like Frodo with the ring. Yeah. <laughs> God. Dude, I went to this coffee shop down the street because I'm trying to find a new coffee place. And it was, you know, I don't know. Everything on like East 6, East 11 seems like cool. Went in. All pink. All pink interior. Yeah. Everything pink. It's off putting. It's insane. Yeah. And the worst part was like that everything else was like shitty. Yeah. Like the setup felt like like a dingy yeah. half idea. Like a like a coffee shop you'd see at like a train station. Yeah. Like it was like, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Here? If you're going all pink. You better have the best coffee yeah. <laughs> yeah. in the fucking world. Everything else better be dialed in. Otherwise, it just like it genuinely felt like a like a 16-year-old girl like like asked her dad to open a coffee shop. Yeah. <laughs> it was insane. I feel like that's an Austin like decor where it's like I feel like the the investors or the owners are trying to cut corners but not doing it correctly. Or like yeah. they like to dive in dingy. There's a place around the corner from us. I'm not going to say a name of it, but yeah. it's like it has that aesthetic. If done well and the food's great, the beer's great. Yeah. it The charm level is awesome. Dude, I'll yeah. sit at a picnic fucking table. Oh, I yeah. want to look at an open stage that isn't active. Oh, dude. You know what I mean? Like, I love that shit. I love it so much. I but love the walking. Food, in, yes. I had cheesesteak egg rolls at this place yesterday. Missing home. Bro. <laughs> they were good? 
They were fucking unbelievable. They really? even thinly sliced cherry peppers. They really? used American cheese. They did it right. Anytime you see a cheesesteak egg roll shit. in Philly, obviously they're great. Yeah. It's just the Asian style wrap. Yeah. It's like a wonton. Yeah. Right? I don't know. What's, I, I don't know wonton soup. Not a wonton. I don't know what wonton. What's the wonton? fucking... Dumpling. Dun, no. Uh, spring roll. Yeah, it's kind of like a spring roll. It's got that same it's wrap. It's an egg roll. It's Dude, a cheesesteak egg roll. Yes. Yes, it's an egg roll. Yeah, it's got yeah. the same egg roll wrap. I should have started <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, it's an egg Chris, wrap. Come on. Anyway, <laughs> unbelievable. And it is a fix for me. Because even in New York, anytime I try to... A cheesesteak? Yeah. They'd be like, go to this place, Compton. It's got a good cheese. It's a, nope. They're yeah. not using the right cheese. The bread fucking sucks. They put those weird peppers on it. Peppers, they got like, they got green peppers and, yeah, and yeah. mushrooms. Yeah. It's like, you're, dude, Philly's you around the corner. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, how do you not fucking know this? I don't, yeah. Their breakfast fucking burritos. I'm coming around heavy on the breakfast taco. Buddy, what is the going breakfast on? breakfast taco. Well, it's less bread. I haven't talked to my father <laughs> because I'm afraid to tell him I love Texas. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's so great. The people are very nice. The, Everyone's I'll say so this, nice. There, there are pretentious cunts that are in costume. That fires me the fuck up. Of we course. talked about last episode. Yeah. So we go to this place with the cheesesteak egg rolls. Just want to get a little bite to eat, get it, grab a drink, then go home and make dinner. This guy's sitting at a hostess booth, which is crazy. They got fucking bouncers. Yeah. It's like, dude, it's Sunday. What are you doing? <laughs> this guy's like, just, you know, he's got the long beard and fucking weird hat. Ugh. Straggly fucking t shirt. Looking like he smells, but he doesn't because he bays, but he wants to look like he smells. He wants to look like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's how fucking rich white women want to be like, I want to dive. Yeah, bar. yeah. Just spraying, shut the fuck up. That's, wet dog. It's not a dive bar. Yeah. Unless you got a skinhead in the corner that's going to knuckle you up. There's, there's got to be fear. There's got to be a fear factor for a dive bar. Yeah. Don't act like it's a dive bar. It's not. Yeah, yeah. You want, you want a hell's angel-y feel in there. Yeah, yeah. Put a guy in the corner that might bite your nose off. <laughs> so I get up to this fucking... This, and my girl knew immediately. She's like, they're going to card you. You got to start bringing around your passport because I don't have the fucking ID yet. And I'm like, I'm not bringing a fucking pay. Look at my face. She goes, it's not about that. Texas is like really intense. So They'll take your IDs. I'm like, for what? Yeah, dude. What's the point? Yeah. So I get to this guy and I was like, hey, man, I don't have my ID. We took an Uber there. It's only like an eight minute Uber, but it's like a 50 minute fucking walk. Yes. It's a hike. Everything. You got a pack of water bottles. Well, that's like, I mean, it is the nice thing now that if something is 12 miles away, it's 12 minutes away. Insane. But it's horrible for walking. Insane. It's horrible. That's a day and a half. Yeah, yeah. So I get to this dude, and I was like, which has worked. If you're just a good guy, it's not a big deal. Look at my face. I got more gray than black. Yeah. I'm clearly of age. He probably thinks you're one of these hipster clowns. You know what I mean? Like trying to invade yeah, yeah, his yeah, base? Yeah, yeah, Like you're trying to look older than you are. You know what I mean? Like dude, you think this is like a You know how much makeup this would take? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I put some fucking sun damage <laughs> on this part of my forehead and my neck. Maybe you're the best at it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just got off set. You guys got beers here. It'd be so funny to be someone who's like, I'm actually, I'm actually 15. <laughs> really? Wait, that sun damage is Damn. fake? I wish yeah, I was yeah. 15 again. Taste that good syrup. <laughs> anyway, so I get to this guy. <laughs> I get to this guy. Cut that. I get to this guy. <laughs> Don't. That's good. That good syrup. I get to the guy and I go, which has worked at so many other like nicer bars and like it's just a, it's all it's like a toll booth operator, right? Mm -hmm. It's whether or not that woman wants or man wants to be a cunt in that moment. Yeah. What's going on in his personal life? Does he feel it's a secretary syndrome too? Do they feel like it's their right to be empowered because they feel out of power? Yeah. Do they want to put you in a fucking chokehold because they can, because yeah. they're in a chokehold in every other facet of their fucking life. I get to this guy at his, he's probably 38, 40 years old. Yeah. I was like, Hey man, he checks our ID. I was like, I don't have an ID, but I can show you a picture of my passport. And he goes, well, that's not an ID. Uh, dude, I am i didn't do that. I went, yeah. Because uh, I'm thinking it's a bit. Yeah. That's not an ID. Actually, IDs are f formal, in-person pictures. Because anybody can take a picture, right? So that's not an actual identification. Is this how long you explain this? Yes. 
And I still paused after he got done. My girl grabs my wrist. We just took a, a five minute Uber again, an hour yeah, walk. Yeah, yeah. And I went, Yeah, do you want to see the passport? And he goes, Yeah, I'll take a passport for now, but just the future. So this guy's in high heels, essentially, in my fucking head. Oh and all I could God. think about is driving my fucking fist through his forehead. Dude. What a pile of shit. This is a guy that's never been... Like, why would you do that to somebody? I was nice. Yeah. Walked up. How you doing, man? Well, I get hit with that a lot. Like, if I went around without an ID and tried to get into bars, it... <clears throat> it well, you're work. younger. It's not... Youth. You're not that it's, younger, it's, but you look a lot younger. It's not the... Youth. It's, I think I've got such undercover cop energy... This, that, is, like, this is that, what my girl that, got that, into. Like, it's like, it, they're like, okay, this guy is clearly trying to just like, he's trying to bust me on a technicality. See? So I'm going to like. I didn't dude, know this. The other day. Because <laughs> Philly PCB or whatever it was called. It was called PCB or something where like yeah. there was a, a patrol, a regulations <laughs> patrol going like, are you letting underage kids in? Yeah. I get that. Yeah, yeah. So we had a fucking argument. She's like, no, he's kind of right because like you can't just. I'm like, look at me. Even if this PCB, I don't know, I'm saying it wrong every time. Yeah, yeah. PCB comes in here, right? In this fucking shithole banana picnic. Well, they're not going to go, sir, do you have your ID? I'm in the corner yeah. eating cheesesteak egg rolls, looking like me. You're going to ask for my ID? And then what? Well, dude, th again, this is what every good bartender does when they refuse you service because you don't have your ID. They go, I would love to serve you. I will get fucked. Bingo. Like the That's fine. all she said too. Yeah, it's yeah. like I just wish he handled it differently. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't need a speech on why you don't have a fucking That's ID. That's insane. Let That's me give you a thirty-minute yeah. fucking dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh man, I'm getting hot, dude. And she was, dude. We sat down. She goes, I am. She literally talks to me like a five-year-old didn't shit himself on a ride. Yeah. She was like, I'm so proud of you. I know what you should have done and could have done there, and. You're growing. <laughs> yeah. She literally yeah. gave me like it's a, a big a pep day talk. for us. It's a yeah. big day. You're happy. I yeah. can tell you're happy because you didn't fucking murder that dude. <laughs> I'm wearing a, a, a sheen. I did it on purpose too. It was St. Patty's Day. Mm -hmm. I, I It was rainy. I needed uh, an overcoat. I wore my Phillies cherry red polyester shining jacket because I was like, yeah. whatever bar we land in, fuck the Irish today. What? No. Nah. I didn't really mean it like that, but I was sad that I didn't wear like all that Notre Dame gear I have that I can't wear oh, you anywhere. Can't do I was that, like, dude. "You already, you already, you're, every day you wake up, you're wearing Notre Dame. <laughs> your face is Notre Dame." Dude. I feel like I'm a little fucking Irish. <laughs> you are the yeah. fight Irish, dude. <laughs> dude, hold on. I, I so the other day, this is like a, a cop energy moment. The other day, uh, my girl leaves to go get some coffee. She's like, "Pick me up because we we're gonna we get fucking furniture shopping." So like. I, I grab the car, I pull up next to the coffee shop, and I don't see, like, I pull up next to a car, right? I'm, like, on the street, I put my flashers on. I don't see that there's anyone in the car. I got, I got these, like, fucking cop shades that I'm, like, rocking. <laughs> and I turn and I look, I'm, like, trying to look into the coffee shop <laughs> for her. So I have shades on. I'm nervous I'm, right now. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm looking like this, with, and, like, all of a sudden, I realized there's like a black dude sitting like super low in the car. Yeah, looking looking out at me, dude. You got to take advantage <laughs> of this, man. And, and like, he he was like, <laughs> and I, uh, I roll my I roll my window down. I was like, oh, dude, I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't realize. And then, Cause I'm I a do, piece of shit too. I, I didn't do it. Yeah, yeah, but I had pulled up like perfectly in line with him, and I rolled the window down, and like, I was like, "Dude, I'm I'm sorry. I didn't realize how awkwardly I just pulled up." And he was like, "He was like, yeah, dude. I thought I was gonna get fucking busted." <laughs> and then you should be like, "Yeah, dude, my bad. Give me all your fucking weed, <laughs> dude." And then I like I didn't know what to do because I was like, she was still in the coffee shop, so I was just like, "I'm sorry, man." I, should I move forwards or backwards? Or <laughs> he was like, no, I was wearing an Eagles hat. And then we just started talking football. Oh, sick. He was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He was like, where are you coming from? I was like, I just moved here from New York. He's like, why well, you got an Eagles hat on? I was like, well, I'm from Philly, <laughs> no, too. Dude, this fucking, is, yeah, yeah. This is what I avoid with John. Oh. It's like, yeah, if, I, yeah. if I answer correctly on one of these, it's another 30 minutes. Dude, and then, yeah, the conversation end, ended with me like, if aging myself, I guess, in a weird way, because like we were talking to Eagles, he was like, You guys just got Saquon's fucking nuts. I was like, Yeah. He was like, I got I'm he's like, I'm a, I'm a fucking I'm from San Diego, but I'm a Raiders fan. 
And I was like, yeah, well, the Raiders used to be in L.A. I mm. think he's, you know, he's probably like in his 20s. Yeah. He's never alive for the yeah, Raiders right. being in Yeah, LA. so he has no idea what you're talking about. So he about. was like, yeah. yeah. And then all of a sudden behind me, it was like, whoop, whoop. Like there's an actual cop. Oh line. my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, eh? and I, and like he's like, damn! I fell for the football <laughs> conversation again. <laughs> I gotta start talking tennis. I said, all right, see you, man. Yeah. And then and then a dude and then see you in twenty years, dude. I'm driving on like her plates are like the registration's completely oh, I can't expired. Imagine. Like, like the car is completely. She illegal. drives a Mario Kart, dude. <laughs> it is an absolute Mario Kart, dude. I feel like one green shell would take that bitch home, dude, dude to a oh, graveyard. Yeah, I know. It is so fun, though. Dude, <laughs> buying those chairs was so sick. Showing up, showing up in the hoopty and pulling up and buying like nice chairs yeah, and $5, fucking crane, for crane barrel. <laughs> They probably checked your card and ID like six times. Like we, we saw you pull up, cop. Oh man, <laughs> it's literally a toaster with a driving <laughs> steering wheel. Dude, to go from like joking about a scary almost cop interaction to then the cop being behind me, I'm, and like literally my my girl's going nuts. She's like, "Oh, we're fucked, we're fucked, we're fucked." I'm like, "Stay cool, yeah, we're fine, we're fine, yeah, yeah." Take just keep taking rights until he. <laughs> I mean, the fans keep talking about how how quickly one of us are going to get a DUI, but I'm not. Oh I, yeah, I'm close enough to the city. If you if you time it right, it's nice. Yeah, 12, 15, 18, 20 minutes. Like that's nothing. Well, the scary thing is that when, like, when you drink too much and drive in high school and college, oh, it's fun as hell. It was amazing. But blasting music, drinking, and driving is, yeah, maybe the best thing on earth. It's incredible. But my brain was set to black out after I got home. Yeah. Driving. Yeah. You know. Now because I've been Ubering everywhere, yeah. my brain. As soon as I literally cross the threshold into the Uber, yeah, memory loss. Yeah, like I like I will remember every. I'll be like, fucked up. I'll be at the bar. I'll remember every like detail of that. As soon as Dude, I step into the Uber, it's like I don't remember. Thank coming you home. for saying. I this. don't remember eating. I don't remember anything. The like, only it's, level of anxiety that I still retain is the fact that every single day I have to step into an Uber. <clears throat> so our gym also. It's not fucking Planet Fitness. I, I, I read the comments. I was very nervous about our first episode. <laughs> I thought it was too emotional. I thought it was too fucking gay. Yeah. And everyone was like, dude, we care. We love you. And I was like, oh, fucking dick. But I talked about my gym. I got a great deal. And a very nice gym. It's brand fucking new. It's not yeah. gold. It's not Planet. <clears throat> it's unbelievable. Yeah. Gym fucking rules. We have to take an Uber. Again, the gym, five minutes away. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm wary. So we have to call an Uber 15, 20 minutes ahead of time. And you only go five on minutes up the road. Yeah, yeah. But every single time I step in an Uber here, I'm reminded of the anxiety that I had every single second in New York. Oh, yeah. Because <clears throat> you're in someone else's business. Yes. Yeah, it's true. In New York, you're in someone else's. All the New time. New York City is just one big someone else's house. One big yeah, someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so true. It's crazy. You're just always visiting. Yeah. And even in your own house, you can hear neighbors. Yes. You hear people outside. Yes. You're always in someone else's. It's a beautiful way to say that. Oh, place. it's crazy. It, yeah. yeah, dude. Oh. And now I have complete peace, and then I got to call fucking some dude from Dubai to pick me up and drive me five minutes up the road. And I yeah. go immediately, I go, I'm so sorry. It's a short drive. Oh. And I can't go because I just moved here. Because you get some mouthy motherfuckers. Like today, on the way home from the gym, I got this dude who was a, a DHL long road trucker. Uh, what? Driving? DHL. Is yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah, a thing. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's like yeah a he just drives. FedEx and this thing. guy, his, his mug shot on his lift was down here in his crotch. He's got giant fucking bubble ears, and I'm like, this guy's going to be a problem. He's wearing a coon hat. A coonskin hat. Coonskin hat. With the tail? Now, granted. With the tail? Little chili for whole tail. This guy's awesome. Sun, dude, he ruled. <laughs> this guy's incredible. Long sleeve, like surfer <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah, dude, no. Don't get me wrong. Guy Daniel ruled, Boone? But I just get done my. <laughs> Daniel Boone? <laughs> I just get done my workout. I'm like exhausted. I'm sick to my stomach. Yeah. I got to go cut the lawn. We got a pod. We got a show. I'm just trying to zone in. Mm -hmm. I got to make lunch. <clears throat> my only shitty part of the day is that these Austinites, it's not like Lyft and Uber in the cities. So yeah. they don't just go, I have a job. I'm going to do the job, pick you up, 
faster I get you out, get the money, get another one. Yeah. There's not many of that. No. So people coming down for South by, it's yeah. like they drive in from this one dude was like they drive in from Houston. Oh, to, to yeah. just to take uh, yes, all their yes, business. Yes, yes. So now all that traffic dies down. People that don't know what the fuck they're doing, you're getting picked picked up by like a Debbie who wants to tell you about the cat that, that can't stop having diarrhea. Yeah. And it's like, Deb, I'm going to fucking lose my mind. Oh, dude, yeah. I took an Uber from Lowe's once, and she was like, oh, what'd you buy, an air mattress? <laughs> yeah, I bought one of those air mattresses. Last time <laughs> I was at Lowe's, I was actually buying whatever that <clears throat> rubber paint is. It's so like, I, I bought some of that, like, they have those infomercials for them. Whatever the, I forget what, what it's called. What when it patches up a hole? Or yeah, yeah. Fuck? They like they like cover Billy the bottom Mays? of a you boat. About Billy Mays. Yeah, yeah. That shit. Billy Mays was your Uber driver. <laughs> yeah, she was like she was like yeah my my cat scratched a hole in it so I had to go get some of that. Paint it's crazy what it people like, remember. What the dude? Fuck? When you're in that mundane conversation with an Uber driver, and they'll tell a story for 15 minutes, mm-hmm. and when I say I'm not looking for a funny punch, which I am obviously, but yeah, anything. That is relevant to your fucking yapping. Oh, dude. And it's like, yeah, well, then I, and then I bought this. Like, they remember everything. Yeah. You could, they, <laughs> they could be like, uh, they'll remember when they bought a place setter for a barbecue they threw 15 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell oh, you. Oh, TJ story. Maxx. Yeah. Yeah. The aisle three down there to the left. And the details, they say. Yeah. The details Southerners use. <clears throat> well, they don't get the podcast, you know what I mean? So they're spilling it. They're spilling it. <laughs> they're podcasting the- all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're it's a that's- fucking Texan lift yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're probably recording it. They're probably like, this is a good cast. <clears throat> yeah, it's yeah. like an NPR lesbian fucking falling asleep. Just, God. Dude. Shout out Lesbies, dude. There's a lot of lesbians. Down here? here? Yeah. yeah, dude. This is where, like. It's a lesbian it's, hub. Yes, because it's yeah. safe. It's but- a koi fish pond. I don't yeah. know if they just like, they just come in like a small area and makes more of them. No, but it's like the thing, the, the, the reason it's a lesbian I love you not hotbed. laughing at that and going, what? no, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the reason. I'm not saying it was a good joke, but just for you to go, no, that's actually not what it is. <laughs> I'll tell you how the lesbians got here. Dude, the, I think the reason it's a lesbian hotbed is because it's like they never go beyond the shadow of Austin. Yeah, you know what I they mean. Can. They're like the little dog next to the big dog, so they get to like bark at real cowboys, yeah. like the real men that live yeah, outside. Yeah, and they yeah, get yeah. To be like, yeah, I'm down Texas. Yeah, man. yeah. But like, it's they, like a coyote not- getting your backyard. <laughs> Can't let the lesbian towards all like, outside of Austin, dude. They get shot down. Real no, quick. they don't want to be in real Texas. They want to be in Texas, and they want to be they they skirt around the edges. Yeah, they go, yeah. They probably go up into those little bluffs right there, yeah. and they go, "Fuck yeah!" Yeah, yeah. yeah they're still they st- they're still trying to I'm hang a on cowboy. to that. They get to act like a cowboy. They get to like they get to pick up weaker lesbian chicks by like looking like hard yeah. cowboys. Yeah, you know what dude, I, mean? I Riding fucking motorcycles. No joke. Shit. I mean, mug the lesbian staring at my girl at the gym. Really? Yeah, I got fucking hard because this one was wow full bull. This one was like transformational. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, I was. I don't mean like yeah, yeah, surgically. Yeah. I mean like this chick was like fucking. Yeah, she was like a what do they call yeah. that? Like an intermediate species. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she, yeah. Was like, she was morphin. Yeah. 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 <laughs> a missing link. <laughs> she yeah. was the missing link. <laughs> do, 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 but she was trying to get to that next layer to, to fix Dude, the link. That is equality. And though. I literally was like, I looked at her and I was like, I fucking. Yeah. You, yeah. That's equality though. When when like when you start having to like fucking. Chin check lesbians. Yeah. Get the f- that's my chick. You have no Get idea. The fuck out of yeah. here. Yeah, that I'll rules. make you a dainty lady again. <laughs> we love You'll lesbians. You'll be wearing high Stuff heels. Stuff Island loves yeah, lesbians. Yeah. No, the, I do. It's not the point. The point is stay in your lane. I'm trying to figure out my lane. Yeah, I, dude, I'm still dressing like I'm city slicker, and I it's not working. What do you mean it's not working? I'm never gonna change, but like, dude, the bar we went to, she said, "Girl bar bar was yeah. like honky tonk." Oh, really? Yeah, I'm wearing a sheen fucking Phillies coat. <laughs> smelling like Macy's. It is weird going through saloon doors in that outfit. <laughs> 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 wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Wait, you feeling uncomfortable? Yeah, I feel a little... Are they high-end cowboys, though? No, no, they're no. all... Fun. That's why I don't feel... like Austin's like very progressive and fake in many ways, but the people that you meet that are real are so wonderful. Yeah. It's like a progressive youngness about like wanting to be something. It's a way I talked about like 
white girls moving from Iowa or fucking Midwest yeah. to Manhattan and then all of a sudden pretending to be a New Yorker or East Coaster. It's like, yes. Calm yes. the fuck down. Yeah, they've been there two weeks. You're not that person. I know who I am. Yeah. I, like, I'm never going to change. Yeah. I can't fucking... I'm not going to run. Like, I, I told Shane he looks great in a cowboy hat. I was like, Dude. wear that. You look... Hilarious, <laughs> but also damn good. He does look good in a cowboy hat. He looks good in a cowboy he hat. He does like he's got <clears throat> sheriff energy. My boy sure. Mike McGuire, shout out Heifer, my boy Heifer from Delco. Yeah, sent me this. I didn't know where it came from. I thought it was a fan. It sent sent me this like like Texan shirt, like a Tony Hinchcliffe shirt. It's black and has rose gold, thick embroidery around like the the. The shoulders. That's nice. It goes down here. It's got the rose buttons. Dude, it's fucking beautiful. Yeah. I, I got it on a hanger. I'm like, I can't. You're going to get I, there. <clears throat> I want to get there. It's not that I want to get there to be that person, but I like I want to appreciate the culture. Yeah. But not embody it because I can't yes. embody it. I don't want to embody it. I just want to have fun. Dude. Right? It's yeah. like St. Patrick's Day. That's why you dress up like a fat freckled lady. Yeah. Just have fun for a day. Yeah. Yeah, Cinco de Mayo. I'm not going to dress up like a fucking dude, Mexican. <laughs> yeah, you are. Get a sombrero? No, dude. Dude, you're going to get into nice cowboy chic. I think I... Dude, I mean, I wear fucking Chelsea boots. Chelsea boots are yeah. city cowboy boots. That's yes. all it is. Yeah. A Chelsea boot is a, is, a, is a city cowboy boot. I don't mind the cowboy boot idea. You can't just shift. I know. All you need is one event... Where it's appropriate to dress cowboy chic. Yeah, when I blow my brains out at, at the mothership. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just dress you, in full cowboy if gear. If there's one, like, I don't know, some type of <laughs> a wedding-y type situation yeah. down here that yeah. you go to. Yeah. It's going to be, you're going to have an excuse yeah. to buy that shit. And once you put it on. Yeah. You're going to have a hard I'm time afraid. taking it off. I'm afraid. <laughs> You're going to have a hard time I'm afraid, time taking dude. It, off. it is the ring. Because it's like... Yeah. I don't know. I felt that it's way... It's Frodo Baggins, I felt dude. that way with Tony. <laughs> when, when I was seeing from afar, just seeing him dressed that way, like the couple times that we would come down here, I was like... I mean, that's nuts. Kind of looks is. sick, dude. <laughs> he looks cool. good. It depends. <laughs> like, you can... It is <clears throat> fun. <clears throat> alter it to your shape and style if you do it well. Yeah. Looks good. Yeah, dude. Looks good. I yeah, I would go with like a full blue jean outfit. Yeah, I just can't full I, denim. I can't. I can't reiterate enough how mo how happy I am and how wonderful this oh, is. Oh, it's great. We got passed at the club. Yeah, we're in at the club. We're in at the club. That's nice. I think. <laughs> I think. I still don't believe it. I think it. we are. I still don't believe it. <clears throat> but we're sending in avails. Everybody's. That's nice. Been so wonderful. It's so peaceful. Food, culture. Dude, also it's everything just, being centralized. Like, like there is, it is sick that New York has all the boroughs and different little pockets and everything. But, like, the fact that everything's kind of just in one place here is yeah. nice. I will say that the, I think, like, an eye opening experience was like the South by Southwest. Yeah. Also, crowd. city totally changed today. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, we got comfortable for like five days mm -hmm. and then South by came in and mm -hmm. it's just like the wave of, I was like, Oh fuck this. Yeah. And then it's resettled in the last couple of days. And I'm like, Oh yeah. Again. Yeah. Yeah. So that's only once in a while. That's, that is the thing. I mean, I, I totally am the white chick that's been in New York for two weeks. I yeah. went like, finally a fucking city back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, no more black matters, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Literally driving around today like, Jesus, oh, yeah, no line yeah. for coffee. Thank you, Finally gave Christ. Floyd the statue. Now we can all calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was madness, man. No, it, was, it sucked. It sucked. But also, we just had to go to a club or a bar. But then, the, like, 6th Street, which is normally pretty wacky, was like... yeah. Yeah, it's like Vegas meets Nashville Can't meets move. Louisiana. Everyone's got like a pop-up like content machine going. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's like a light with cameras yeah. just somewhere. Just yeah. like just talking to people on the street. People are fucking wasted. I fucking saw some dude rapping what? like on a on a Roomba. 
some dude, like, it was like a, he was just rotating. You ever see those, like, rotating, like, selfie things? Like something that comes out, like sushi comes out on, like, a little... No, I did it for, uh, uh, this is not happening. So you know that yeah. promo where oh, you're circling? yeah, yeah. So you stand still, and then a camera and light rotates around you and takes a 360 video of you, and you have to stay still with, like, a, a reaction. Yeah. So some producer or director will be like, based on your personality, like, do this. So you're just like, like yeah, you just yeah, make yeah, a face yeah. for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah depending yeah, on your yeah, comedy. Yeah. yeah. And then you see the photos and you're like, who the yeah, fuck who the f- was I? Delete yeah, yeah. it all. Yeah, I don't yeah. even want to be on the show. <laughs> it's the gayest thing ever. Dude. It's like fucking getting a headshot and going, yeah, these are great. Oh, dude. I'm, no. I'm going through that just buying, looking at, like, you know, glassware. Dude, I did headshots twice <clears throat> or three times in the last 10 years. And. Yeah. People keep busting my balls because these fucking, the bookers just look for online photos. Yeah, yeah. And they'll take the first headshot I ever had like 12 years ago, 10, yeah. 11 years ago. And it's like, no, I've had more. I just refused to ID the ones I like for the photographer to you touch need up. Someone, yeah, yeah. You need to just like let someone else make all of those decisions, I think. Yeah, Because you can't, I will never <clears throat> possibly be able to, Pick a photo of myself and go. That's the they one. won't believe this. Yeah, I've never seen an episode of our podcast. They won't believe this. I've never seen a full episode, like watched a full episode. Yeah, of any podcast. Really, I've never watched a full podcast of anybody ever. Oh man, ever. What I will entrench Some myself with is con c- comments. Yeah, yeah. Which is probably worse. Definitely. Yeah. So I will read comments and such, but I can't even, I just go, Ugh. like the yeah. thought of it, the look at dish videos are the only thing I, I consume. Yeah. And yeah. even that I get nervous. Yeah. Our producer sent the last look at dish that's coming out this week. Yeah. I was like, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. And then I sit down drunk and happy and I go, I can't possibly ruin my, my mental state right now. Yeah. Looking at my own stupid fucking face. Yeah. Judging whether or not this is good. Yeah, I can't. It's so painful. I do think that that's like, I feel like that's like some thing I need to get over. Yeah, no shit. Like I'm not bad. saying it's healthy. To be able to like sit and objectively look at yourself. But then it's like, even that feels like a fucking insane headspace to be in. <sighs> to be like watching your own shit going like, okay, yeah. yeah. Dude, going home yeah, and watching be... stand-up comedy yeah. to me is the most insane <laughs> and mental fucking Process. I, th- I feel people that do that <clears throat> are crazy. Yeah, I think that's just like, putting on another person. And just go. I'm gonna watch an hour. I I I I got into doing that in New York because I wasn't doing it enough. I get no. I get what's the research. nice. What's nice about being down here is like we're more in the soup. I like watching stand up. I've done more shows yeah. in a week than I've done in a year. <laughs> yeah, this is fucking, fucking incredible. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, we have a. I love the idea of the new material shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what we should do with the show that we were offered. Yeah. It's like, just do new shit. Just new shit. Yeah. And fuck around. Yeah, I love the idea of fans buying tickets to watch seven people die on stage. Yeah. It is fun. Sadistic. Yes. From their perspective. Yes. And that's the best part. It's great. That's the only thing I loved watching live comedy. Yeah. You just go watch some dude. You're like, this guy eats it every time he doesn't know it. He's fucking crazy. Yeah. Going on stage, dying, and there's four comics in the back going. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear the comics laughing at you. Yes. Oh. It's a fun, it is a fun way to die, <laughs> to be honest. Well, no. When, well, it's, it, when it's bombing. <clears throat> yeah. Dude, if Colm goes out there and goes, this is a brand new material, or whatever he does. Yeah, yeah. That's a brand new material show. Uh, he's going to milk the, he's going to yeah. milk his intros. <clears throat> Yeah, he's like fucking Vinnie Brand at Stress Factory. He did. <laughs> he's gonna do he's gonna do thirty minutes in between each bit. No, it's like it's like a nice thing about him that he like loves to talk, but it's like the, you know, before you go on stage when you're like panicking, you know what I mean? When you're like, ah, fuck, yeah, dude, I'm, that's gone. You're like trying to think of like new stuff to say. Like you're genuinely like even the sets I'm doing now, I'm like, there's I gotta I can't yeah. I can't do these yeah. jokes anymore. And he's just like he's talking about anything. Yeah. Anything and you're yeah. like, dude. It's th- well, this I, is the consistency thing. You get, well, you're getting three to five sets a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be on the road on the tour. Fade. 
Also, let's shout out our uh, tour dates. Oh, yeah, dude. We got the tour begins. The tour begins. The tour begins in April, April yeah. 4th. We're going to... Uh, April 4th, we're in Houston at the Houston. Riot Comedy Festival. Yep. Then we got a show in our hometown of Austin, Texas. That's on... The 11th. Hold on. Hold on. Now, we're at Addison Improv on April 10th. Yep. And then Back in Austin at the Creek in the Cave on April 11th. Yep. Uh, so go to our website, stuffislandpod.com, for the ticket links, and come see us. We're going to have merch. Yeah. We're, we're getting new merch. We oh, have a yeah. tour shirt being made, which is kind of sick. That's sick. Yeah. Yeah, dude, we, we got, we're doing it. We are doing it. We're Thanks doing to you, it. Chris. We're I want to say it. that publicly. <laughs> I really do, man. I genuinely, you've made my life better in that way. Well, I was very afraid of all this stuff. I'm very happy. Yeah. I'm very emotional. It's crazy. No joke. Like I'm gonna. I think I could cry right now. I mean, I'm. I'm super fucking happy. I'm glad it's good. Yeah. Because the last week I was like, if oh, we go down there, everything it, before this, was, <laughs> I was like, dude, I was I was looking at burial places for you. Yeah. <laughs> but Arizona's the last not week, that far from Texas. Yeah. The last week I was like, man, this place better not suck for us. Otherwise, dude, if you were having a miserable time. <sighs> Man, my life would be hell. You'd wear a ski mask to hide, <laughs> to hide all the bruises, dude. You'd be so just, swollen, just walking around in football <clears throat> gear. You'd be like Rocky Dennis from Mask, <laughs> that giant fucking <laughs> Easter Island head. It's getting oh raked. my god. That's gonna be a nice moment for me when you put the cowboy stuff on. I'll put the shirt on for a pod. Yeah, problem is You're getting gonna real hot. Out. I'm just You're gonna, gonna have rock to, it out. Have to lay it over my. I'm going to wear it next spot. You might look crazy. You have huge arms. You might look insane in one of those shirts. I'm getting big in the tits these days. I, dude, I feel very getting healthy. Chest I'm eating pump. more. You are? Yeah. You eating, eating three more. squares? Huh? Three squares yet or no? I'm getting like two and a half. Two and a half? Yeah. Two and a snack? Not as much. Yeah. Two and a snack? Yeah, dude. I don't know. <laughs> full, <laughs> well full of shit of your asshole. Yeah, yeah. No, I'd say I'm doing enough. I'm the anxiety it. is receding, and you're you're actually putting some meals down. Yeah, and sleeping. Yeah, it's so fucking fun. You hear birds and stuff out there. Buddy, oh, do you have the grackles? I can't believe you haven't been over yet. You don't really love Dude, me. Do you know what they call it? what? You don't love me. I do. I was, it, you haven't been over. I want to come over. Look I'll come over tomorrow. Look at him checking his email. No, I was. I'm looking at uh, trying to tell him to come over. I would he come goes over. Right to his would, phone. No, I want the grackles are driving me nuts. I love the grackles. They go. They fight, dude. They fight like Grackles motherfuckers. Are what I miss about West Philly. I'm not gonna make that racist, but dude, the Grackles have replaced. <laughs> Do you know what the Grackle nickname is? What the fuck is it called? You can't say that, dude. Oh, where the fuck? What is are you looking up? I'm looking up Grackle nicknames. Why? Because there's a one that's like. <laughs> Dude, the grackle, I said this to a guy who's from here in an Uber, and I was like, what are those? I went, look to your right. What's that bird call? It looks like a crow and a robin. Yeah, yeah. It's like a dainty crow. It's very pretty. Yeah, it's and got they, a little blue in they, there. It's yeah, got like a little yeah, it's navy got a sheen blue. blue yeah, navy yeah. blue against it's the black. Really long, beautiful tail. Incredibly beautiful. They and they do this like TV just shut off, like. <laughs> I don't know what it is yet, but it's fucking unbelievable. And yeah, I got them. Yeah, I got mosquitoes. Are they? Do they? Are they active at night? Because I don't know. No. God. Nah. Damn. What the fuck was it called? They're busy breaking in the.